Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are getting into Salesforce Omni Studio. If you haven't jumped onto this bandwagon, now it's the time to do it. So don't wait or you might find yourself fully behind. Let's get into it. So today we'll start with a quick intro to Omni Studio and an example use case for it. If you are already familiar with Omi Studio, feel free to skip to the next part where I'll be talking about four reasons why you should learn Omi Studio now. I'll also be covering how to get started with Omi Studio and we'll be producing more Omi Studio related content in the upcoming weeks. So please make sure to subscribe. First off, what is Omi Studio? So in a nutshell, Omni Studio is a suite of tools designed to simplify the creation of complex industry specific experiences on Salesforce. It's a very powerful low code and point and click tool that enables admins and developers to build complex user interface and work with multiple data sources, including both internal and external data. So Omi Studio is consisted of three layers, digital experience, service management, and developer experience. Digital experience is your user interface layer, your front end. It contains flex cards and Omi scripts. Flex cards are like your user interface. Omi scripts are like flex cards, but it takes inputs from a user. Service management, it contains data raptors, integration procedures, and business rule engine. Data raptors are basically a combination of so-called queries and DML statements that allow you to insert and update records. Integration procedures allows you to call data raptors and Apex and APIs and a lot of other functions as well. Business rule engine allows you to perform complex calculations. Developer experience contains the IDX build tool and IDX workbench. The build tool is your command interface for deployment and your IDX workbench is a more user-friendly user interface that allows you to deploy Omni Studio components. If you want a more in-depth look, check out the video on the screen or in the description below where I'll be going into details of each layer and a quick demo on some of the use cases for Omi Studio and also a, a walkthrough as well. So when would you use Omi Studio? A very common use case would be an online application form. For example, imagine if you are shopping for an insurance plan for your car on the website, you would have multiple insurance options and depending on which options you clicked or selected, a different application form will appear on the window. The form would pre-populate your personal details if you have logged in and ask questions about your car, model, brand, etc. You would then fill up the form and receive an email. Inside Salesforce, it would then create or update account contact records, generate an application record to store application form details, and create a case for the insurance agent to follow up with the applicant. So this is actually a perfect use case for Omi Studio, and you can build this using Omi Studio tools relatively quickly. You would have a flex card on the Experience Cloud site, showing different buttons for each insurance options. The flex card then calls the Omni script depending on the option the user selected. And if the user is logged into the website, the Omni script then calls the integration procedure or data raptor to prefill the form based on user's information. The user then fills up the remaining form and in the background, the Omni script would call integration procedure or data raptor to generate or update Salesforce records like account contacts and creating application record to store the details of the form and also a case record so that the agent could follow up. 
and the user would also receive an email. The Omni Scoop then will bring the user back to the flex card where the journey started and will show the status of the application form that it's in progress. I'll be covering details on how to configure and build these Omni Studio tools and we'll also go over examples of Omni Studio projects in the next few weeks. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Let's now explore the four reasons why you should learn Omni Studio now. Reason one, in 2020, Salesforce made a groundbreaking 1.9 billion acquisition of Velocity. So Velocity was a long term Salesforce partner specializing in industry specific cloud software. What this means is that Salesforce will likely be integrating Omni Studio and industry cloud into the core Salesforce platform. It's not available in some of the Salesforce industry clouds as highlighted here. So media cloud, energy and utilities cloud, public sector solutions, communications, health and financial services. From here, you can actually see that Omni still sits above the core customer 360 platform and is the foundation for the industry cloud. This example is for media cloud, but it's applicable for any industry products like public sector solutions, health cloud uh, that was mentioned in the previous slide here. And this brings us to reason number two, career potential. So Omni Studio and Salesforce Industry Cloud are niche products and with Salesforce integrating Omni Studio and Industry Cloud into the core Salesforce platform, having Omni Studio experience and certifications to back up your experience means you will be in high demand. I had a quick search into LinkedIn in the US market. There appears to be in good demand. So if you are in public sector, health, finance, energy, and utilities, this is particularly relevant. Reason number three, it's a very powerful low code and point and click tool that enables admins and developers to build complex user interface and work with multiple data source, including both internal and external data without having to write code. You can make HTTP callouts, generate PDFs, send emails, run so-called queries, perform DML statements, call Apex, and display complex use of interface, etc. So comparing to custom code and Lightning Web component development, using Omni Studio means faster development and simpler maintenance. Reason number four, learn it now or risk falling behind. So this is only my opinion. Uh, I think Omni Studio is a great tool overall. It's not a perfect tool and comes with limitations and there are many things that can be improved upon. Having said that, I feel that Omni Studio is now what Flow was a few years ago. So it's a good opportunity to learn it now before getting left behind. To recap, Salesforce Omni Studio is a versatile development platform that allows users to create highly engaging and customized user experiences using various Omni Studio tools, such as data raptors, flex cards, integration procedures, Omni scripts, and business rule engine. If you are interested in diving deeper into the world of Omni Studio, make sure to subscribe to my channel and keep an eye on this playlist on the screen and in the description below as I'll be doing deep dives into Omni Studio tools. If you would like to request for an Omni Studio playground, I have made a couple of videos showing where to request the work and how to set it up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.